Hello, precious souls. Welcome to Infinite Union. I'm Aura, and this is a podcast on Twin Flames. For more videos, don't forget to subscribe. If you have been wondering about Twin Flames, or if it's possible to be a starseed and also a Twin Flame, then the answer is simply yes. As a starseed, you are considered an advanced soul, a soul that goes through trials of karmic experiences, which will lead to your awakening and to your true self. As a starseed, you can be a spiritual teacher, mentor, spiritual master, but also be of service to humanity to assist in awakening Earth into the Golden Age. Advanced souls have the ability to split themselves, especially for spiritual journeys, such as the Twin Flame journey. This is also part of soul merging. As a Twin Flame, you can go through many painful lessons with karmic soulmates, including to prepare and condition your soul for this connection. However, not all star seeds are twin flames. Twin flames can be can also become light workers, or at least the most spiritual twin can. While the twin flame matrix will stay in the background. Here is a list of types of star seeds. Also, I will make another follow-up video on the topic of particular types of star seeds in the future. But here are the seven signs that you are indeed a star seed. So one of the first signs of being a star seed is you seek wisdom. So a lot of star seeds carry wisdom within them. It's already implanted in them. It's implanted in their genetics, DNA, but they have the ability to access this wisdom, which have been passed through hundreds of years of ancient times. Um, but they find themselves asking certain questions like, why am I here? Or what is the meaning of life? But they also want these answers to these questions and they seek knowledge in general, but only because you feel and starseeds feel that there is so much more deeper meaning to being here. And there's a deeper meaning in this life and in this lifetime. So another sign of being a starseed is you are incredibly psychic. If you have felt certain feelings when you have met someone initially, especially for the first time, perhaps maybe friends, coworkers have even come to you for advice, and maybe you have been right about the advice that you've given. Maybe you felt a fake smile when meeting someone for the first time, but you couldn't help feeling and even intuitively feeling that something just wasn't right. Some could have even called you judgmental or maybe even a know-it-all. But you also have been able to predict when something is about to happen. And also you have been able to feel energies that you cannot describe. This is also a distinct sign of being a starseed. Another sign of starseed is you are in fact extremely empathetic. So occasionally you may feel overwhelmed, especially when you are in big crowds parties, or even giant social gatherings. This may also lead you to limit your time more, especially if you are ignoring how your body is feeling. You may also relate to animals, mammals, and also many living creatures. You may even 
feel more comfortable being in the company of plants, but also mainly living creatures and organisms. Despite anything else, you would rather be in this company than in social gatherings. So another sign that you could very well be a star seed is many have really considered you an old soul and you may have been also called this in the past but um, people can sometimes spill their guts to you maybe even at random moments they may share secrets knowing that they can even depend on you for any type of advice and that you will help them but as a star seed you as previously mentioned have access to all kinds of wisdom and you share this wisdom with anyone and you genuinely know the right words to express to these people so another sign that you very well could be a star seed is you may find yourself feeling as if you don't belong here so a lot of confusion can definitely merge and come to the surface, especially while going through a spiritual awakening and even on the twin flame journey. But no matter where you go or where you are, you will find yourself feeling as if you are considered an outsider or you don't belong in any type of circumstances or situation but you also value and feel a sense of belonging when you encounter other like-minded individuals or souls who express that they feel the exact same way. This actually gives you some type of comfort in knowing this, which can lead to you gravitating towards these souls as it provides you a sense of comfort. So another sign that you are a star seed is many friends are acquaintances. They're not really close friends. You just consider them acquaintances. So throughout your life and maybe even in the present moment and currently, especially as you are going on on your journey, a lot of people that you have encountered have not really seen you or they haven't really seen like the whole picture of you but you have always had a sense of being on the outside looking in so many of these individuals that they they lack just a natural ability but a natural remedy of a, of understanding who you truly are and really understanding you as a whole person. So you can really, you can, this can also definitely, um, as a result, you can rarely develop any type of deep or special bond with any of these um, individuals that you encounter. So this is also a distinct sign of um, definitely being some type of star seed. So one of the last signs, and this is the, uh, the seventh sign, is uh, you also see repeating numbers. So uh, when you are a starseed, and as, you know, knowingly that you are a starseed, occasionally at times, especially in eventful times of your life, you will, and these are also, these can also occur during spiritual awakenings, but you will see sequences of repeating numbers, but these are also known as angel numbers. So the more that you pay attention to these numbers and these sequences, this is also going to instill, and this is going to happen to you more often, especially as a star seed, maybe even on the twin flame journey as well but you will be able to translate what they mean in your life, especially as you continue on to this journey. You will also see these numbers and they will help you and assist you, but they will also align with your purpose. 
So it's more like a response back to what your true purpose is. And these numbers will also affirm that you are on the right path and you're going in the right direction of your true path and what you are really desiring. So these are some signs of being a star seed, but like previously mentioned before, you know, just because you are a star seed doesn't mean you're really on the twin flame journey. So it could be a little bit of both, but you could in fact be a star seed and be a twin flame. But um, this concludes this podcast. Until next time, I'm Aura, and this is Infinite Union.